Welcome to Pure Tips, helpful demos for Purify Plus users directly from our developers. IBM Rational Purify Plus is a dynamic analysis tool that enables you to detect hard-to-find memory errors, identify performance bottlenecks, quantify the effect of performance enhancements, and identify areas of code that are not being properly tested. This is a tip for Pure Coverage. What is Pure Coverage? Pure coverage very simply tracks what functions and source code have not been exercised during interactive or structured testing, so you can be sure that you have tested all of the code you've changed or are about to ship. So what is the value of this demo? This shows how to create HTML files from your pure coverage results, running pure coverage on a Windows platform. Use those HTML files to easily share results with someone who does not have pure coverage or even post to a central web server and your team can access from anywhere. They can view these standard HTML formats through their preferred browser. Yes, it's that simple. First, looking at your project directory, you normally view results instrumented by pure coverage from the product native GUI by double clicking on the .cfy file to launch the pure coverage program and open the data in this file. As you are probably familiar with, now you can see all the great project data, things like function and line level coverage, and you probably know that you can expand to see all the project source files. In the example here, we drill into mainframe.cpp. Taking the top function as an example, we see that assert valid was run 2,484 times. But now you want to share this data with someone or even a team who doesn't have pure coverage installed on their machine. No problem. Just follow these three simple steps. First, convert the .cfy project file to a text file. Two, run the pure coverage Perl script provided for you. And three, view the HTML files. Let's run through this. First, you need to convert the data to a text file by selecting File, Save As. In the file type box, select text. You want to save this file into your project directory, the same directory as your .cfy file. You can see that the text file now appears in our project directory. Also note that you can perform this function from a command line by using the dash export option. PureCov minus export your project.cfy file out to project.txt. Now that you have the text file, you can run the PureCov web utility. The program is installed in the path shown and highlighted here. You should open up a command window in this folder. If you want to know all of the options available with this utility, you can get help by running with the minus help option. Alternately, you can view this help information in your web browser by going to the cov html install directory and double clicking on the html file called purecovweb underscore en. This brings up the same help information page in English. The help page is also available in Japanese by clicking on the underscore ja.html file. Next, convert our project text file. You will want to run the following Perl command from the PureCov web install directory and use the recommended options shown and highlighted here. Minus M for messages. Show messages, otherwise known as verbose mode. Minus F, overwrite the existing HTML files if they exist, otherwise the program asks. Minus A, annotate any source files that are found with the project. Minus D, write the HTML and image files to this directory. In this example, we created an HTML directory within our project directory. And finally, provide the, the project text file with the path included. As you can see, the program ran in verbose mode, showing that it created the highlighted HTML files. Also, shows the start and end time. As you can see, it ran in under one second. In the destination HTML directory that you specified, a default.htm file has been created. This is the starting page. Double-click this file to bring up the pure coverage results in your default browser, such as IE or Firefox. 
And as you will see, this brings up a page with the coverage data displayed in a similar format to the actual Pure Coverage program. You can now expand down to your project source files. Again, choosing mainframe.cpp, you can see that you can expand on the source file to show the functions, just like the program. If you remember, the HTML file is showing all the same results, same hit coverages, and same counts. As an example, the assert valid function again shows 2,484. Further, you can click on that function and it will pop up the annotated source very similar to the pure coverage Windows native GUI. The source pops up at the point of the function and highlights in a color-coded manner the coverages for the functions. Red didn't get hit, blue it did get hit and shows that count, and pink partially hit with a multi-block line. Actually, if you scroll to the top of this page, the color coding is explained. To host the files on a web server, you must place all of the HTML directory files under the root page. Now you can go forth and easily share pure coverage data, and that is a pure tip.